The UK driving test includes the option of the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. We always recommend reversing into parking bays whenever possible as the car is more manoeuvrable and it is much safer to drive forwards out of the bay afterwards. In this video we'll show how to reverse bay park safely with an overview of the manoeuvre from outside the car and then a more detailed view from inside the car. If you have any questions about the video then please leave a comment and we will do our best to reply. The driving examiner might ask you to do this manoeuvre at the very start or end of your driving test. They will direct you towards a suitable area in a car park and then say I'd like you to reverse into a convenient parking bay finishing within the lines. We can choose which bay we park in and we don't have to tell the examiner which one we have chosen. We will be using the 90 degree method in this video as we feel it is the most reliable for new drivers. If you prefer using a different method that's fine as long as the car finishes with all four wheels inside the bay lines. We choose to park on the left in front of the lamppost. We position our car in the middle of the road to give enough room to turn. Check to our left for any danger and signal. We need to stop three bays past our target bay. So we drive slowly and stop level with the third bay. We select reverse gear, check all around the car for danger and start reversing very slowly. When the next bay line becomes level with our shoulders, we quickly steer left to full lock. As the car slowly turns, we look around again for danger, then use the blind spot mirrors to check our rear wheels are going to finish within the bay. Once the car is straight, we steer right to straighten the front wheels up and stop once the whole car is in the bay. Knowing exactly when to steer into the bay is key to a good bay park. Once we have chosen a target bay, we drive slowly and stop three bays past. Once reversing, we normally turn when the first bay line becomes level with our shoulders. But for more precision in our learner cars, we have stuck a dot on the top of each door. Different cars and seating positions may need slightly different turn points, so if needed, experiment until you find your favourite time to steer into the bay. In this video we have concentrated with parking on the left, but the technique for parking on the right is exactly the same. Position in the centre of the road, and stop three bays past the target bay, then steer quickly right to full lock once the next bay line is level with our shoulders. As always, keep looking around for danger until the car has stopped. If possible, we would normally choose to park in a bay that has empty bays next to it, as this allows more room to manoeuvre the car. However, if the car park is very busy, we might have to park in a bay next to another vehicle. We will need to be extra careful, so we drive very slowly to ensure we don't cause any damage. If we turn into the bay, or straighten our steering at the wrong time, then the car might stop at an angle to the bay. If we see that our wheels are on or outside the bay lines, we must tidy up our car's position by carefully driving forwards out of the bay and then reversing back in again to straighten the car up. Car parks are often very busy, so we must look carefully all around the car before driving forwards and once again before reversing back into the bay. If we spot a hazard near our car, we should stop, 
until we are sure it is safe to continue. Another method to bay park is to position the car next to the target bay. Then turn the car 45 degrees before reversing at an angle. If you prefer to use this method, then as long as it is completed safely, then it will still pass the driving test. So remember, stop three bays past the target bay, look all around before reversing slowly, turn into the bay precisely and straighten the steering once the car is straight. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.